Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for February 5th through February 11th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is for the sign of Aries and I want to thank you guys all for being patient and not begging for the reading. I really appreciate that. I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards and then we will break right into the tarot deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Stay positive. All right. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Discipline. Discipline and optimism are the words of the week for Aries. What else? What else do we have for Aries? Now this is intended to be a love reading. If uh, your love is great and wonderful, then this reading is probably not for you. This is typically for people that are struggling, okay? It's time to come out of the come out of the dark. It's time to see the light. The worst is over, okay? The worst is over. I feel like you guys should be going through a period of renewal. You know, the worst is definitely over. It's like a time of liberation here. Whatever has happened, it's done. It's time for you to stand up. No more hanging around, doing nothing, okay? Whatever you were going through was just a test, all right? Keep that in mind. It was absolutely just a test. It just... You know, you were stuck in that spot because you were going through something. But I really feel like whatever was happening, you know, that was making you feel insecure and making you feel unstable, I think I think that's over now. Things should be starting to move forward. It is. It's like this, this uh, upheaval that you've had in your life. It was a blessing in disguise, but... You know, I think that it could have been much worse. Look at it like that, because it could have been. Things could have been been much, much worse. And you it, you have avoided some kind of uh, major, major, major upheaval, okay? Now, I feel like a new door is opening. I understand that you guys have been through something probably very big, okay? There's been some kind of maybe even rock bottom for some of you where you felt like you were in some kind of crisis but that's over and now there's a new doorway opening your future looks bright things are finally starting to turn around for you um it feels like you this just was preparing you okay so whatever you were going through that made you feel unstable and insecure was preparing you for the future and i feel like your ships are definitely coming in okay there's a feeling of, um, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone anymore. You know, somebody is feeling like they don't want to be alone. Maybe they were stuck in a situation because they didn't want to be alone. Many of you have probably been feeling very ungrateful because you've been through some kind of crisis or period of destruction almost. But it could have been worse. And it's like you... And it really wasn't destruction, it was upheaval, but it, I don't think it was as bad as it could have been. You've been through something that has probably, you know, maybe it's even cost you some money. I feel like there's been through something that was probably costly, that um, has caused you to feel really down and now you know that's over it's over now okay the future looks bright if you've lost some money to something you know the worst is definitely over okay you may be feeling like a very uncomfortable for one thing uncomfortable in the area of love and I think that right now you might not be able to receive love or even give love because I think there's right now 
there's there's there could be some money issues in your life and because of that it's affecting your heart it's affecting your ability to open up emotionally or even receive emotionally there's materialistic uh, issues here at hand that are affecting your um ability to love okay love openly or receive love openly or give love openly openly i feel like because there's been these problems with the finances, it's just affecting every other area of your life, including your love life, okay? Um, and it's definitely materialistic. We have these feelings, or I see these feelings of, I'm so down, I'm so out, I don't have enough money, woe is me, I, I can't move forward because of these, these money problems. I think that there's been something... Uh, financial that is is bringing you down and it's really caused you a lot of depression and maybe you've even been losing sleep like like how am I going to recover from this how are we going to recover how are we going to recover from this loss of income what are we going to do now but it's really not as bad as you think okay it's not as bad as you think I think that you know it's where wherever you guys were at that made you feel like you were at rock bottom financially perhaps it's over. The worst is over now. You know, when you hit rock bottom, where can you go? Up. You can't go any further. So I feel like, you know, and it is definitely, okay, the worst is over now, and your ships are going to start to come back in. And I know that I said this is supposed to be a love reading, but um, it really is a love reading because when, you, when your finances or your money goes to hell, you know, how can you be all lovey-dovey okay so that's what i see it's like there's there's problems in the relationship arena because of money i mean that's what i see now i want to know what this new door is it feels like you guys are coming out of the darkness the worst is over and a new path is in front of you okay your future is is looking okay like your ships are going to start coming in they were just really slow maybe they hit ice or something <laughs> Oh, those cars went flying. You know, it's it's amazing here, all right, with these cards, what I see right here. I think that many of you are either in a commitment or thinking about a commitment. There's definitely a lot of love here. There's a partnership between two people that is pretty solid, okay, or... You're thinking about a partnership, something. It could be either way. But either way, there's a there is the, if if you are single, there could be an offer of love that comes into your life that you could miss. Okay, that you could miss because here we have the four of cups. Okay, so I just have to tell you that there could be an offer that you miss because you're not you're over you're brooding. You're brooding, you're overanalyzing, you're worried about your finances, you're worried that you're not good enough. You know, there could be love, there could be a commitment, there could be, you know, love that is wanting to be offered to you, but you can't accept it because you're so worried about your finances. I feel for many of you that there is some kind of um, person that is either in your life now or is coming into your life or wants to come into your life, but you're missing the opportunity because you're stewing, you're stewing over something, all right? And because you're stewing, it's not bringing you what you want, all right? You need to let go of that feeling that you need to, you know, hold tight to feeling bad for yourself. Somebody is feeling like bad for themselves and not, they don't, they lack uh, excitement for love. They lack a lot of, they lack passion right now. And the reason that they're lacking passion is because, there's they're feeling like they don't have enough but the fact of the matter is that that's just a feeling i see that this person that you are either thinking about or that is coming into your life is could lead to wish fulfillment all right and i i really really have to tell you that if you've been having problems financially they're going to get better i really see that they are definitely going to get better for you so I would, I, if you're feeling lack of energy, lack of drive, lack of passion, lack of excitement, I would try to let that go. Really let it go. Release those feelings of despair because all it is is like a materialistic, this is greed right here. I think you guys have enough. 
Okay, and I'm not saying that you're greedy. I'm just saying this is the devil card. The devil is greed, and it's materialistic, and it's addictions, and it's and it's stuff that you don't really need. That's what the devil brings in, stuff that you don't really need. So I feel like, you know, what's the more important here, love or money? Now, you don't want a divorce, do you? Or maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you are going through a divorce. Maybe that's what you really want. Maybe you're losing money because of a divorce. Like, this could go so many different ways. Somebody is losing money, and it could be, or they've lost money. It could be because of a divorce, or it could be because there's some kind of materialistic obsession, okay? And they're overspending, okay? But I really feel like it's time for you to follow your inner guide and follow your own path, even if... Even if you're afraid, even if you're afraid that you're going to lose money, you're being called to do the right thing for you. That's what I see. It's not about the money, okay? Here we have, here we have wish fulfillment. Here we have lack of wish fulfillment. I think you guys are really, are really wishing for something that isn't necessary, and I'm so sorry to tell you that. You need to have hope, and you need to have... Um, you need to you need to have hope for the future rather than than letting whatever's going on uh, decide who you want to be. It's like I feel like there's financial issues here, and and there's love too. There's financial issues, but you're missing opportunities for love time because of I'm stewing over this loss of money okay that's what I see it's like I've lost this money so I don't want anything else at this time until my bank account gets back up you know what I mean that's what it looks like to me um and there's so so therefore there's lack of wish fulfillment right now there's lack of wish fulfillment because many of you are going through some problems there could be even some legal issues that you're going through that's costing you money and it's just I, I see a really downtime and because of this downtime your wishes are not being fulfilled in love I mean that's just what I see it's like I can't really be in love right now because I got these financial issues um but you do have a soulmate for sure you have a soulmate either you're with this person now or somebody is you know they're out there they're definitely out there um, we have soulmate here and soulmate right here. So I'm pretty sure that you guys have a soulmate. But the thing is, is right now you're, you're brooding over this financial situation. So there's problems. There's problems here. There's some kind of, uh, message that you've been receiving that you're not, you're not listening to. And this is an internal message. This is your inner guide that is trying to tell you something. They're trying to help you. They're trying to get you to see. They're trying to get you to use your own magic to find it within you to succeed. You know, and, I, and part of this magic within you is to let go of these worries because these worries are holding you back. There's worries about finances here. And because you're so worried about it, it's holding you back in love. It's time for you to look at life from a new perspective, Aries. It's time for you to really change your perspective, change your thoughts, change your ways, realize what's most important to you, okay? What's most important to you? Love or, or money? There's, there's lack of happiness, okay? Lack of happiness in your life, probably in your relationships or in your home life or something, and now you're being offered the power, this is a power, to accept the truth and wake up because this is an awakening, okay? This is, this is um, family, okay? But this is a family, a relationship that is falling apart, okay? So, or it's not happening. It's unhappiness. Unhappiness because you're brooding. You're brooding. When you have the chance, you have the chance for you know, some kind of beautiful union, but there's no beautiful union if you're, bu if you're brooding, 
okay? So this card tells me that it's really time for you to really, really a different perspective. And I don't say just a little bit of a different perspective, a big one, because this is a gift. This is the hand of God handing you this sword of power, this sword of truth, this sword of truth to open your eyes, to wake up. I think that, you know, there is enough. I think there's enough money, maybe not what you want, but I think there's enough. There's no reason to pass on love, to pass on kindness, to pass on emotional support, to pass on um, some kind of connection. You know, there's no reason to not love because you don't have enough money in the bank. And this is it right here. This is great because that card means love or money. That's what the card means. Is it love or money? You know? I feel like many of you have this illusion that you need to have more. You need to have more illusions right here. This is illusions as well. Two illusion cards. Okay? Illusions. You guys have illusions that you need to have more. I need to have more. I need to have more. When deep down, above all, what you need more than money is true love. So if you guys are feeling down, down, because you don't have enough money, let that go. Let that thought go. The worst is over. The worst is over. Your ships are going to start coming in again. Okay? I see that you guys are going to have plenty again. New, a new doorway is opening for you. A new path. Okay? All you have to do is let go of the feeling of, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Be grateful. You do have enough. You do have enough. If you have a partner and you are neglecting them, this is if you have a partner and you are neglecting them because your bank account is low, you could lose a, a beautiful opportunity. If you don't have a partner, and you can't even think about it because you think you don't have enough enough money. You could miss an opportunity in love. It's not about the money. This one right here is pay attention to the consequences of your choice. Like I've said many times, what you own owns you. Should you choose love or money? Love or money? Love or status? If you choose money, then that's that's where you're at. That's number one. If you choose love, that's number one. So I think many of you have been going through a period of feeling very down because of the financial situation. But I think you have the ability, you have the, um, you could have support from another person that you are missing. You're not seeing it, you're not receiving it, you're not accepting it, something like that. But anyway, I think the worst is over and I'm telling you guys to just really consider the consequences of your actions. And, and when I say, because this is consider the consequences of your actions, that's what this card means. Really think twice about it. See, he's looking up there and he's thinking. He's considering, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Love or money, that's what this card is about. Amongst other things. But anyway. Um, choose wisely. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. That's all it takes. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Many of you have lost your optimism. That's why that card came out. You're missing an opportunity thinking you don't have enough when you do have enough because the enough is inside of you, not outside of you. Talk to you later.